Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for February 15th, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. AA Thoughts for the Day, Children of Chaos. Over the years, every conceivable deviation from our 12 steps and traditions has been tried. That was sure to be, since we are largely a band of ego-driven individuals. Children of chaos, we have definitely played with every brand of fire, only to emerge unharmed and, we think, wiser. These very deviations created a vast process of trial and error, which, under the grace of God, has brought us to where we stand today. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 146. Thought to Consider Once we clear a hurdle, it doesn't seem so high. AA Acronyms Chaos Can't Handle Another Overwhelming Situation Just for today, except from The Belief Will Come. I don't recall any immediate dramatic change in my life. I began rereading the big book and the twelve steps, and now I find in these much that I had never found before. I didn't reject any of it. I accepted it just as it was written, nor did I read into it anything that wasn't there. Again, nothing changed overnight, but as time has passed, I have acquired a blind and, yes, childlike faith that by accepting a God I don't understand, and the program of AA just as it is written, I can maintain my sobriety one day at a time. Came to Believe, page 47. Daily Reflections, Taking Action. Are these extravagant promises? We think not. They are being fulfilled among us, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly. They will always materialize if we work for them. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 84. One of the most important things AA has given me, in addition to freedom from booze, is the ability to take right action. It says the promises will always materialize if I work for them. Fantasizing about them, debating them, preaching about them, and faking them just won't work. I'll remain a miserable, rationalizing, dry drunk. By taking action and working the 12 steps in all my affairs, I'll have a life beyond my wildest dreams. As Bill sees it, true ambition and false. We have had a much keener look at ourselves and those about us. We have seen that we were prodded by unreasonable fears or anxieties into making a life business of winning fame, money, and what we thought was leadership. So false pride became the reverse side of that ruinous coin marked fear. We simply had to be number one people to cover up our deep lying inferiorities. 12 and 12, page 123. True ambition is not what we thought it was. True ambition is the profound desire to live usefully and walk humbly under the grace of God. 12 and 12, pages 124 to 125. Big book quote. Actually, we were fooling ourselves, for deep down in every man, woman, and child is the fundamental idea of God. It may be obscured by calamity, by pomp, by worship of other things, but in some form or other it is there. For faith in a power greater than ourselves, and miraculous demonstrations of that power in human lives, are facts as old as man himself. Alcoholics Anonymous, We Agnostics, page 55. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. If alcoholism were just a physical allergy, like asthma or hay fever, it would be easy for us, by taking a skin test with alcohol, to find out whether or not we're alcoholics. But alcoholism is not just a physical allergy. It's also a mental allergy or obsession. After we've become alcoholics, we can still tolerate alcohol physically for quite a while. Although we suffer a little more after each binge, and each time it takes a little longer to get over the hangovers, 
Do I realize that since I have become an alcoholic, I cannot tolerate alcohol mentally at all? Meditation for the day. The world doesn't need supermen or women, but supernatural people. People who will turn the self out of their lives and let divine power work through them. Let inspiration take the place of aspiration. Seek to grow spiritually rather than to acquire fame and riches. Our chief ambition should be to be used by God. The divine force is sufficient for all the spiritual work in the world. God only needs the instruments for his use. His instruments can remake the world. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be an instrument of the divine power. I pray that I may do my share in remaking the world. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.